Hey everyone, welcome back to the FlexCut tutorial series. This is episode 3 and today we are focusing on how to pass data from a child flex card to a parent flex card using custom events in Salesforce Omni Studio. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to configure your child card and send data up to your parent card and update the required fields on the parent card. So as you can see here, I have a parent flex card that is hosting another child flex card. So what it does is we will go into the preview and see. Once I press this action button, it will change the value of this city variable. I'll just show you an action and there you go. It changes it to Toronto. How this happens is that I have created a child flex card over here, which has the action button hosted inside it and it will pass a custom event named update city and it will give the value of Toronto. So let's see how to make this. First, we'll make a child flex card. For that, just navigate to your Omni Studio flex card and create a new flex card. We just call it as child. Let's just give it an author. And you have to make sure that you check this is child card. Let's go next. Keep the data source as none for now. Once you have the child flex card, just drag the action field onto the canvas. Let's just make sure it displays as a button and we keep the button variant to neutral. And now let's configure the action for what this button is going to do. So the action type should be a custom event we had said. Let's make it a event and event type would be custom. Let's name this event. It should be unique and you have to call this event in the parent flex card. So we have to remember the name as well. For now, let's just keep it update value. If you see these two checkboxes, composed and bubbles, what they mean is composed will allow you to pass data out of this flex card and bubbles, it will pass data from this flex card to another flex card who is hosting it, basically from a child to a parent. So we have to enable that as well. Let's add some input parameters here. We'll keep the key same as the event name. So let's just say update value. Here we have to put the value that has to be updated. So let's just say New York. Once this event is made, we are good to go to the parent flex card. So let's make a parent flex card first. We'll go to Omni Studio flex cards, new, and we make a parent. And for this card, it's a parent, so we do not enable is child card. Just to say next, and data source would be the same as none. Okay, so once you have the parent flex card, we can add a data source as just a custom JSON to keep things simple. I have a custom JSON here that will just give a name variable, some value, and a city variable, some value. So let's just create some text fields on the flex card. So make sure you click save and fetch here to see the JSON that is being passed. All right. Now, when we come to the custom field, like the display values, you can just edit is as name and put the variable in curly braces. If you remember from the first video and city would be curly braces city. As you can see, the values are populated on the canvas as well. We'll just keep an empty space here. Now we'll import the child flex card into the parent flex card. Navigate down in the build section and select the flex card property. Drag it to the canvas. And here when you see child card properties, just input your child card name over here. So our child card was named child flex card. If it doesn't show here, that means we haven't activated the card. So let's just go back to our child flex card and activate it once it's activated we will refresh the page of the parent click back on the child and let's see if it comes here yeah it just pops up in the first section so child flex card as you can see our action button from the child flex card is here now now this will update the value it won't right away update it because the parent doesn't know what to do with it right the data is coming the parent doesn't know what to do with it so let's go in the setup of the parent and we will add a event listener this event listener would be the type of custom event because we had done it custom in the action of the child event name has to be the same so we had used up update value whenever this update value event is fired from the child the parent will listen to this and make changes accordingly let's see what the what this event listener action would do it will select the action type as card and it has to set value 
on our parent card so what value it will set just click on the key and you'll see the two values that you have on your parent card so we'll select city because we want to change city and the value that it will catch from the child it would be in curly braces action dot and what we had named the value was up date values we save this now if we review the connection and there we go the city name changes to new york so that was about it i hope you learned something new hit the like and subscribe buttons for more flex card tutorials and thanks for watching this episode 3 of the flex card series